Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Times of Refreshing right here on Scholar Thread Ministries Facebook page and we are back again, right? I know we missed last week, but we tried to do the stream, but you know, it just didn't work out. But um, we are back again this afternoon. I have Spider-Man behind me. I'm not in front of um, any green screen. Today is a nice, um, what you call it? A nice portrait. <clears throat> My dad put up here, he's doing some renovation. So I said, you know what? Let me capitalize on this nice New York City background here. <laughs> right? I'm not sure what Spider-Man doing in the back. He's trying to capture somebody. He must be a bad guy or something. But you know, he's doing a little slide. project here for the kids. So, hmm? so people going to say, what I'm telling them is that Christian Sean, the backslide. Is Spider-Man <laughs> who does that background? <laughs> so we supported Spider-Man this afternoon. But, you know, it feels nice and comfortable in here. So, um... Yeah, so we are back again today. You know, I felt like, oh, gosh, I missed a long time here in times of refreshing. But anyways, we are back and um, <clears throat> to discuss God's word with you. Um, John 16 and 33 tells us, the, um, Jesus is actually speaking here and saying, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace in the world. You... Um, shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So he's telling us here, you know something, in him, right? Not in the world. We live in the world, but while we're living here, in him, we have peace, right? We have rest. We have quietness in the world, right? And we shall have tribulation. It's not going to be perfect. It's all our obstacles cannot be taken away. Right, although that is what we would like at times that all our obstacles, trials, um, testings be taken away, right? But it can't. Jesus here is saying, We shall have tribulation, but you know what? In the midst of that, be of good cheer, right? Because He have overcome the world, He have the victory, right? And once we are in Him, right, we will have that quietness, we will have that peace going through our times of trials and testings and stuff. So I just want to encourage you all with that today. John 16, 33, you could really read the entire chapter. It's encouraging. So um, <clears throat> I'll open up with a word of prayer and then we'll um, start the discussion. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you this afternoon, oh God, for <clears throat> um, life, for health, for strength, oh God, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, oh God. You are everything that we need, oh God, Heavenly Father. You know what we need and what we don't need, oh God, Lord. <coughs> and Lord, especially at the perfect time, you know, God, Lord. Lord, we ask, oh God, Lord, that you help us to be content, Lord, Heavenly Father. Um, through it all, oh God, Heavenly Father, we ask for humility, oh God, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, tonight, oh God, we just come in this broadcast into your hands, oh God, Lord, we pray. That those tuned in at the end of it will surely, their souls, their spirits, their mind, their bodies, will surely feel refreshed, oh God. Not by what we are about to say, but um, by your spirit, oh God, Heavenly Father. Your spirit, oh God, will bring that peace, will bring that sense of hope, oh God, Lord. That they would be encouraged to look forward to tomorrow and next week and next month and next year, oh God. So, Lord, we just thank you this afternoon, oh God, that you are working in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, we are in the month of September. And, you know, for the first month, in the, bro the first broadcast, I mean, in the month, we would like to wish everybody a happy birthday, a happy anniversary. <clears throat> and, you know, from all of us here at Scholar Thread Ministries, we wish you all, all the best in all your celebrations and in all your endeavors. We are in the month of September. I can't believe it's September. The year is almost finished, right? But, um, you know, we just thank God that, um, you know, he's seen us through and we, we've made it to September of 2022, you know? So, um, yeah, I'll hand it over to you now. I'm talking for five yeah. minutes now. Yeah, but it looked like... Um... It looked like you was reading my, my um, you, you, you hacking to my computer and was reading my, 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 my discussion. I was going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, shoot. And I hadn't even had that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but, and do you know that today I was going to, um, I was going to um, speak about, um, from, 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 from 2 Timothy 
um, women will be lovers of themselves. And I was going to speak about um, narcissism in the church, uh, people who pray on people mm -hmm. and her, pray R E Y I N G, and um, some of those things. But I decided just to, to, to leave it and not go, go ahead. I'll speak about that another day. Mm -hmm. But um, and how the devil attacking ministries, right? A lot of ministries are under attack and things like that, and 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 how and you know and um, everybody bad talking or or, or or sharing information and 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 things about what's going on in the ministry. If somebody is under attack in the ministry and not a man calling a prayer meeting, yeah, yeah, yeah nobody say let me and let me call a prayer and fast boy. Everybody yeah. know everybody sharing. Um, thing and, and this is not for <clears throat> and people in Trinidad. <clears throat> excuse me, I was while I was studying um, narcissism in the church and I, I, I said a different thing with the church um, leaders. Um, mm -hmm. I, I observed that because nobody in really calling for, for, for a prayer meeting when the church under attack. And if one yeah. church or one ministry, regardless of wherever they are, are, are affiliated or not, um, mm -hmm. is under attack, people have to recognize an attack. Compared to, 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 you know, to somebody uh, uh, making a personal mistake. <clears throat> yeah. And I, I've, I've been assessing the situations and things, you, you know, um, I, I'm going around in various ministries and trainers, and I realized and what happened is uh, the church is under attack. The enemy loose, and he coming and he attacking the church. So when you see church leaders or, or, or members in the congregation or anybody in, 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 a, in church or in a ministry, when you see that happen, you have to know that it is an attack because nobody ain't really come into church and want to do things. Mm -hmm. And we know from experience, we are church leaders, but the point is, we <clears throat> would, 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 would come under attack, sit, uh, sit and attack people who were, um, who, who, who were interfering with the kingdom. So, and you just uh, sit and attacking, and nobody, and people in the world don't say sit and attacking them. All they're saying is, I'm going through a bad patch, but the next thing and everything are working good. But we know those of us who have surrendered our life to Jesus Christ and have become born servants of Jesus Christ, we know that and there's a war going on, there's a battle. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is stop trying to pull down, or, you know, other soldiers, our soldiers get wounded, you know what we have to do? We have to ban him up, help him out there, support him, carry him around, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's he, she, or whoever it is, and, yeah. and, and try and build back um, the person. Because if one, it all for one and one for all, if somebody, anybody of Christ get injured, it means that uh, we, we, we should feel the pain as well too, and not just pull people down and look for ways to attack them and and, 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 and things like that. So so mm -hmm. so so we have to understand that. Um uh, I'm going back to you too now is is uh, and and how you're reading my mail. I don't know if, if uh, because I had the password for my computer. Yeah um you you uh, and you and you and you're speaking about the thing I, I go on um say or oh, somebody to the area go and speak about today before no, I was I cleaning up and, I was eh? cleaning up the mess you make it today. <laughs> So I could use this yeah. little space here and I was just vacuuming a little space here. So well, you whatever you drop, I'll probably pick it up. Well, <laughs> I, I probably have a piece of paper with my notes or something. Yeah, whatever you drop, I'll probably pick it up. Anyhow, mm -hmm. I'm glad you cleaned out that table for me because that was one of my concerns. I have some clothes to pick up there and then I'm going to vacuum. And there's Alex in my room. I like Alex Mural in the back there. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spy that I'm a Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> I see a yeah, nice so, guest selling downstairs. I feel I might buy it and put it here for him. Is that a little table with two chairs? Wooden? Yeah, I, you, I didn't see the chairs. I just saw the, the wooden table. It looked like a desk. Uh huh. Yeah, like well, a I, nice I, student I, desk. I went in today to look for a double decker, but I find it looking shaky. The size of Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex is yeah, about yeah, to be yeah. on a double out of wood there. See, that, 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 that is strong enough. That's that trouble. Mm -hmm. So, today, I want, well, I last week we celebrated the 60th anniversary. <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, um, and we have any pens. And today I want to speak about a calypso that was written in 1961 by a fellow, mm -hmm. um, and who goes by the subreker of the Lord Pretender. Okay. Um, he wrote a a, a calypso in 1961 called "Never Ever Worry." And in, okay. in the calypso, say, uh, you know, if you feel things bad with you, I never ever worry because something worse happened. You know, something somebody suffering more than you. Never ever mm -hmm. worry because somebody suffering more than you. But I want to talk about the Calypso using the title of his message. By okay. the way, um, before I go further, I want to congratulate the mighty Sparrow mm -hmm. on his um on his um entry into the kingdom of heaven and his baptism. He was baptized mm -hmm. last week. Um, 
in, in, in New York, um, um, <clears throat> uh, he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and he was baptized. And you know, I, I, as Sparrow, I'm one of Sparrow, a biggest fan, and I like it's to sing true, Sparrow. Eh? And he said, Sing Fan, mm -hmm. and he accepted Jesus Christ. I right. said, Lord and Savior, you're baptized. That's good news. So let me mm -hmm. tell you something. And you know, people say, now, oh, Sparrow, smart, he getting old now, and you know, he go dead anytime and he accepts Jesus Christ. No, nothing happened before it's time. True. And I think Sparrow, uh, you know, his, I mean, all the Calypso, you accept, accept the Lord and stop singing uh, Calypso. I accept the Lord by still singing, singing uh, Calypso, just the lyrics different. Mm -hmm. The lyrics. But, but it's lyrics, <clears throat> but it's quite <throat> lyrics now. Mm -hmm. So, I want to congratulate the mighty Sparrow on accepting Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and mm -hmm. for making the commitment for being baptized and things like that. And he's on his way to heaven. And I am sure that God is not going to take him away now. He's going to give him enough time to witness to a lot of people. Yeah. Sparrow is going to lead, and people like Sparrow so will lead a lot of people to the Lord. Yeah. Right? So the title of my message today <clears throat> is Never Ever Worry. Not message, Never, but ever the discussion. Worry. Never mm -hmm. Ever Worry. Is the, is the title of a calypso or the or the, uh, the and the name of a calypso written by Lord Pretender in 1961? But I'm not going to speak about the calypso or Lord Pretender, but I'm, I'm going to speak about worrying and what mm -hmm. happened when you yeah. worry. So I'll begin by reading from Matthew chapter 6, <clears throat> verses 25 to 34, before you go into the message um, discussion. And this is Jesus speaking here, <clears throat> right? And this is from his sermon on the mount. He said, Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought, which means don't be anxious for your life. Anxious means to worry. Mm -hmm. What you will shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than the meat and the body more than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Yeah. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his statue? And any, and, and, and why take he thought for raiment, which is clothes? <clears throat> Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do, or do they spin or weave, if you want to call it that. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little feet? <clears throat> Verse 31. Therefore take no thought for saying what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed. For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the, the, the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Well, there's the challenges, and that, that word there, the evil is, is really challenges and things. What God is saying to you today, right? And you're talking about, you know, in, in <coughs> essence, now what you're speaking about is worrying and, 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 and anxiety, stress, and, and taking out things, and, and, you know, and you're looking at other things, and you're saying, don't take it on. Trust God. Mm -hmm. What God is doing here, what Jesus is saying that God did or does, is He take responsibility for your need. Yeah. You're worrying about where you go eat or where you drink. Now God takes responsibility for your need, not your wants, not your desires. <clears throat> because if you want mm -hmm. a new car, you'll beat yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but but God will provide food for you. He will provide clothes. He will well, um, you know, I, I'm, he, he will give you the grace. It doesn't mean that you uh, he, he, uh, and that your car desire new things or expensive stuff. But what I'm saying is that God takes responsibility for your need. Yeah. So don't take it on. Don't worry about that. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself out. In Philippians 4, 19, he say, Paul said, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. The promise of not worrying is not extended to the, 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 the um, or, or extended and past the realm of need. Right? So people who, who stress yourself out and worry, if you check it half of the time, it's because they overextend themselves. Yeah. <laughs> they want a new car, but they don't need it. They have a car, you know, but they don't need a new car. But because the Joneses have a new car next door, and they buy a new car, and they're fixing up, and they're doing it, you want to do it too. 
So mm-hmm. what you do? You go and you buy a new car, and you put yourself in expense and start to worry, you start to stress yourself out. Yeah. And, you, and, and you're concerned about where the money coming from. Insurance yeah. come up. Oh, oh, just so installments come up. I had to change <clears> battery, had to inspect the car, all these kind of things. You're putting yourself under you, you causing the worry on yourself, not God. So yeah. God now said that He will supply all your need. He takes responsibility for your need. And when you extend past your need, then that responsibility becomes yours. And that's why God is 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 is, 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 is somebody who is blamed. For people going through stress, but as the people putting themselves under their own stress, True. people are watching what other people have, and I want one mm-hmm. like that. I want a mm-hmm. new dress every week because this one wearing it. I want a new this and I want a new that. But God supply your need. You're not walking around naked. Mm-hmm. Some of us have our, our wardrobe full of clothes, but we're still looking for more clothes. Why? Yeah. Because we are we going to a, on a shopping trip or or, or or holiday and see everybody pulling up suitcases. So you don't have to fill up a suitcase because everybody doing that. You have enough clothes to last for you, and God proved that to me. Because you know, I used to travel so many times for you, and every time I go, I come back with new clothes. And for the last four years or five years, I've been wearing the same clothes over and over, the same shoes, and nobody don't know. Because my clothes is, is and I still have about five or six um, T-shirts and about 10 or 12 new shirts that I'm wearing. Do you know that? Well, mm-hmm. Some of it is, 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 is in your cupboard. So what I'm saying now is that we follow him, people and putting ourselves at an expense when God handles all he's telling you, don't worry. Don't ever, ever worry about, about, about where you're getting your meat, next meal from, where you're getting um, clothes from, and, 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 and things like that. God will supply your need, and he does. Mm-hmm. God supplies the needs of everybody. Because yeah. I know, and there are many times that when you and, and Shelly and Roderick, what was, I'm younger, and I, I work in an independent school in Port of Spain, and I live in there, Every night to come home after working and thing, and I close up, and I come in home and I see the vagrants in the streets. I used to look at them and, and I ask one of the vagrants, "So what all you um, need here?" And a lady tell me, "She said what we need is hot things when rain falling." You hear mm-hmm. them will be hacking and coughing. I said seriously, mm-hmm. say yeah, because people bring in food in the day, but when rain falling, that time we feel them cold. We are not no hot to drink. So mm-hmm. you know when, when rain falling, I leave Port of Spain. We I, as I rush home, I, or I call, I say you happen. Organize the cooler and we go down in town with hot coffee, hot tea, mm-hmm. and sandwiches for those homeless people who live in the street. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what they want. So God used people to supply your, uh, other people's needs. But you know what happens? Some of us selfish and some of us just lazy and we don't listen when God speaks to us. Mm-hmm. Because God always calls somebody. He ain't coming down and drop food for you. Um, just so he sent Ravens. And, and then he, he, he sent um, Elijah by a widow. Who had a little better thing and, and the um the supply and the both of them need so don't think yeah. God will just come down from a van and drop bread. Yes, he could do that, but he gave us the opportunity, just like Paul. When Paul told me, I, I was speaking to the and, and the uh, Philippians one of them, he said, It is because I wanted you to get blessed that I took or, or encouraged you to give. Right? So, so so what I'm saying now is that don't worry, don't ever worry, never ever worry, right. Never ever worry. It's not because somebody suffering more than you, but because God will supply all your needs. Mm-hmm. Never ever worry, right? First yeah. Peter chapter um five and verse seven, um and Peter says, casting all your care upon Him, for He cared for you. Philippians four and six, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. This is true. I've been living the Bible all my life. Even before I accept Jesus Christ, I was in another religion and, and I, I seen a repetitive prayer and God was still blessing me. Right? God was still blessing me. I remember praying <coughs> a prayer and, and next thing you know, and what I pray for, I get instantly. So God listened to the prayer and, and looks at the heart. You can't say, um, yeah, I trust God and, I go, and, and the slightest thing, you're stressed out. You're worried. Mm-hmm. And you're mm-hmm. taking on things. Oh, well, I know... I think he freeze there. Oh. 
All right, well, we'll just hold on till he comes back. So we having some internet issues, so we'll just hold on and All right, well, we'll just play a song in the meantime, and when he comes back on, we will, I would, um, we will come back on to y'all, okay? Well, so we'll, we'll be right back. I sit down to write a gospel episode, cause I hear it too much smart on the radio. Right from the start, I make up my mind. The past never singing about no drum and wine. I write a song just to win a crown, but to edify the love and to make you strong. Who don't want to hear? Well, then they go feel the adversary come to kill and to steal. I want my friends and them go to hell. When Basil come and start to ring up the bell, I hope you don't mind. I'm trying to give advice. To make it is the follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day In these days with knowledge on the increase we got to guard against the mark of the beast. The earth is full of violence and full of hate. We must be patient and keep the faith. Let not your heart be troubled, you must be bold. Though the love of many people wax in coal. Man, look up and don't you submit to fear. It's just your redemption that's drawing near. And I want my friends and then go to hell. When Basil come and start to ring up the bell. To make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day Alright, so we're back again yeah. What happened? <coughs> so that went down there? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So you were saying, don't worry. Yeah, I was saying. I, I was saying a lot of people ex extend themselves further than than really where um, they excel themselves further than where God will take them. And mm -hmm. as I say, you always and you know even the kings in Israel in the old days, what the kings in Israel used to do. Is seek the Lord first and find out God's mind in a matter and then pursue it. Even if you're buying, if you want to buy a new house or buy a new car or buy a piece of land, and nothing is wrong with that. God will I want to bless everybody, right? And nothing is wrong with that. The thing about it is, and the thing about it is, you we must first find out the mind of the Lord, what God wants us to do. Because if he say, go ahead and buy a, a two million dollar car. And you only have a hundred thousand dollars, and you have a, 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 a thing. And God say, go and buy it. God will provide it. But a lot of times we go now, we go and do it, but we ask God if He agree before we go and do it. Mm -hmm. And then we want God to come and bless us in a situation like that. So I expect God yeah. to also. So the situation here is now, and we, you, you know, we keep our worrying, mm -hmm. but by prayer and supplication and let your request be made known, and then God is going to let us know um, and, and what is happening, and, and you know. Mm. And, 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 and look at what Paul is saying in, in, in Philippians chapter 4 and 6. 
be careful or be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. He said, let your requests be made known. So, hey, God, hey Lord, Father, you up, man. I want to buy a piece of land. It costs me $200,000 for, for a lot of land. I want to build a house, I want to buy a land. Uh, with prayer and supplication, with thanks, if I let God know my request. So it's not like you go and do it and then tell God to bless it. You, mm -hmm. you, you let God know your request and then God is going to open my way for you. Yeah. Then in verse 7, now Paul is saying here to the Philippians, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah, and, and you'll have peace. Once you let God know, you will have peace. And you, and you won't be worrying about where the, the, the installments coming from. If you buy a new car, you're worrying about where, where, where the insurance are coming from. And then Paul goes on to say in verse 8, Finally, brethren, right? Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. We, uh, we want more than what is essential and that's where worry comes in. We want to look for more. We want to save up. I have, uh, you know, I want to have thousands of dollars in the bank for me to feel comfortable, for me to stop mm -hmm. worrying because I know yeah. I have money in the bank and I, will, I could pay my bills. No, nothing like that could cause people to stray from God because they don't need God. If you have thousands of dollars in the bank, you don't really need God to pay your bills. You have the enough money to pay bills. Mm -hmm. But when you need God is when you have sufficient, but you continue to depend on God for the for, 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 because as Jesus say, um, <laughs> and when I pray to your Father, ask God to um, he sit and give us this day our daily bread. So you're asking God for your daily bread or mm -hmm. your sustenance. So what happened there now is that yes, you're praying and you're asking God, but if anytime you have more than enough, and many people I know, and that's why it's difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because you have no need for God. You have nothing to pray for. Person will say, I have nothing to pray for. I have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have a big house. I have a big car. I'm on any yeah. bank. I'm happy. I, I don't need religion. I don't need to pray to God. And, and that has happened many times. Because David said in the psalm, right? He said, Lord, I don't <laughs> want to be so rich to forget you. And, and not too poor to, um, to be ashamed. I want to have enough. Mm -hmm. David yeah. said that in, 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 in the psalm. So, I, I, and you know, I always say that. I say, Lord, I don't want to be too rich to forget you. And I don't want to be too poor to be ashamed. But I want to have enough. I want to have sufficient. And that is what God promised to, and to give us. He, he promised to su supply us with all his needs mm -hmm. according to his riches and glory. But what we do, yeah. we overextend ourselves and start going into areas that is not need. Right? Or what is essential. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, and that's where the worry is coming. I don't worry about if my business go, if I have a business and I'm making real money, I don't worry about employees. If people are ripping me off and buy the cash, I register. I don't, I don't look at supplies. Every, every month I have to get supplies. Oh, gosh, look at the shipping. Look at the cost of shipping going up. Hmm, I can't even get a re um, thing. Oh, the bank can give me no US. Look at how much stress you're going through. Yeah. Look at how much stress you're going through. And I'm telling you stress that I went through already. <clears throat> I yeah. only never take it on. Um, and we used to go through that in business. I used to say, look, me, I'm bothering with that. And part where they, they, they have a sense, I say, slow, say, slow. What is for you is for you. Yeah. And I, I grew up with that. And look at Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, and that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers as it is today. What is God doing? God give you the power to get wealth. And if you're getting wealthy and you recognize that God gave you the power to get well, then he will continue to, and to supply and to bless you. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. So don't worry. Never ever worry. Don't worry. God is in charge. God is taking care of things. He's handling things. Okay. You're looking around and you're seeing how the world going to the famine here. Lack of water. They say it has no water in these places, in, in, some, in, in some areas. Uh, and the water level drop and the... Um, and 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 the and the the, the in, in the and rivers and them drying up, yeah, sort of fire all over mm -hmm. the place, and you you stressing yourself out. If yeah. you eat a pong of rice, they will eat half pong if you get in it. Mm -hmm. They go kill you. Food yeah. make for the belly, the belly. I mean, the belly make for food. Food make for the belly. So so you continue going on. God won Israel, you know. The same thing we going through in the world today. God won Israel, you know. In Hosea chapter two, and he said, for she did not know that I gave her corn. 
and wine and oil. Mm-hmm. Multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Bill. Mm-hmm. So they know it's I get them that. <coughs> Hosea, right? She yeah, know. Come from, mm-hmm. Right? As I get them that. Proverbs 16 and 19. A man saw devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Right? You wait and you, you, uh, you can make your plans, but it's God who will direct your steps. And if, 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 you, if you make plans and you look and see if God is, uh, you know, and, and you get the mind of the Lord, and then you know, a lot of people don't really consult God anymore. Right through yeah. the Bible, you see David consulted God, Abraham consulted God, this one consulted God, Jesus talked to God, everybody talked to God. And you know what happened? God gave them a word. The prophets used to talk to the people. Now, no, nowadays, nobody don't, don't, don't consult God, except people of different religions. Because they go by the priest or the pundit or whoever it is and ask them. If I want to buy a car, and they go by the pundit. Pundit, they think around now is the best time to buy a car. The pundit go read the patron and say, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't buy no car. So what, why Christian people are consulting God? Yeah, Other true. religions doing it? Christian people are going by over men too, to ask them um, uh, uh, about, about the future, whatever it is. So why do bend your knees? Why do fast and pray and ask God? And that will ease up your worry. You think these people who are successful don't know that if they consult whoever it is and they, and they tell them, go ahead, and they move comfortable and without stress and worries. Mm-hmm. And true. God... Regardless of whatever religion somebody belongs to, if it's a Hindu, Muslim, um, Roman Catholic, um, Pentecostal, full gospel, Baptist, Obia, wherever it is, God allowed the sun to shine on, on the just and the unjust. He will bless yeah. the people like that just as how he will bless a Christian person. So don't think sure. when a man going by Obia, man, he ain't going to get blessed, right? Or he ain't going to get, uh, 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 he, he wouldn't get, uh, uh, you, you know, the things he's asking for. If he work and he follow the principles that God and uh, um, if he, he, he lay down and by the sweat of thy brow and thou shalt eat bread and he work, he might feel as you will be a man, but he knows the principles God laid down. Yeah. So don't think a man going by will be a man and he will get cursed and this go up and him or nothing. You know. He will be blessed. He just he is just not and then enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. Right? And and, yeah. and he, he, he he does just have the, the, and the covering of Jesus Christ and the blood yeah. of Christ. So he out in the open. And when he die. He, 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 he ain't going to paradise or he ain't going unto heaven as God promised. Yeah. No one goes to the Father unless and they go through uh, Jesus Christ, right? And just believe yeah. and you shall be saved, right? So, so, the, so it's not like, uh, you, you know, they're under the umbrella or the protection of Jesus Christ and, the, and, and they're free to do what they want to do, right? And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, um, and look at them Christian, how them getting punishment. God say, he chastised, the Bible say, God corrects those whom he loves. Yeah. So you might see somebody and uh, worrying and they're doing the wrong thing and you, you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and you serve Jesus Christ and you are a born servant and you experiencing some challenges is because yeah. God is correcting you, partner. True. He don't, he, they, they are not his servant because the Bible says that who are you to judge another man's servant? They are another man's servant. They are not Jesus' servant. You can't judge he or worry about it. You study your own self and study what's going on. If God... Correcting you, chastise I means to correct. If God is yeah. correcting you, then God is correcting you. As a Christian yeah. person, because I was studying that the other day, I say, <clears throat> I wonder if God does punish the, the unbelievers, boy. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, and, and I say, but the unbelievers are not his children. Unbelievers is their own man, and, and they're the children of the devil, or, ch- or, the, or the devil is their father. So he responsible for them. God responsible for us. Right, and we, we we have the promises of God. Satan now will deal with his people, and yeah. God because remember God chose Israel for His people, eh? or chose out Israel from the rest of the world. So yeah. you don't worry about how they they operate, and you worry you watch what you doing. And if God decides to correct you and to push you in a correct path, those don't watch them. As sure. you just said, Peter, you don't study John. If I if I will, and that he should and tarry till I come. That, uh, what is it to you? Don't watch them. You watch Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on God. And if you keep your eyes on God and your eyes on Jesus Christ and follow him and his word, what's going to happen? When members of the church fall, you're not going to watch them because your eyes are on the Lord. Yeah. And you won't be worrying about what other people are doing and what the ministry, where the ministry going and what the ministry. And let me show you something, Sarah. Many times you and I together, right? Mm-hmm. When I say we're praying together and, 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 um, and, 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 and think together. So I'll tell you something. A lot of people figure the more people that have is the greater the anointing. 
But yeah. the Bible says that wherever two or three is gathered <clears> in <throat> my name or in his name, he Jesus is in the midst of blessed. So yeah. when you and I pray, he needs once we all we need is two people. We don't need a congregation full of people to pray. I forgot to answer our prayer. No? We just need mm -hmm. to come together in agreement, right? And pray, and it will be done, you know. Yeah. No, sure. if, if 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 a church have two people, and we right? have seen if a church that, have yeah. two people, Sarah. If a church have two people, one preaching and one um um I'm, I'm doing the stream, or, or or one playing music and one preaching, or whatever it is. Do you know that you're not supposed to forsake the assembly of yourself, even if it's two people? Right. People feel, oh yeah, going to church. Oh, I'm going to church Sunday morning, and um, I'm going to church on Sunday morning, and the congregation of people senior. But if there's only two people in the church, you're not supposed to forsake the assembly of yourself, as some do. Because we have mm -hmm. a two or three is gathered. We have a two or three is gathered. <clears> so let's <throat> just say two of us in church on Sunday morning, and and I do in the stream, and you preaching. Jesus and the Mr. Bless. But the, the minute True. the both of us don't turn up, one of us don't turn up, right? We, 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 either one of us is forsaken the assembling of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm and, and, and looking at those things. And, 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 and I believe that many churches, small, they might have five people, six people, ten people, or, or, or three people or four people, and they're starting up. But what happened now? If those three people look up together, you are guilty of forsaking the assembling of yourself, where there's yeah. two or three. Mm -hmm. So you must turn up every Sunday morning or whenever. If the church is two people, and every time the church gather, right, and one don't turn up, he forsaken or she forsaken the assembly of himself. Yeah. Of themselves. And 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 God will want to bless. God bless two people, three people. And, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so we mm -hmm. have to keep that in mind. Don't look for a large congregation and say, well, okay, um, I'm going to have a big church with the, with the anointing strong. The anointing will be stronger. In, in a, in, with a thousand people or, or more or, or stronger with a thousand people compared to five people you know the anointing yeah. is the anointing <clears throat> presence of God is the presence of God <clears throat> I mean we'll talk about the anointing so powerful here <clears throat> the anointing powerful here the anointing yeah. powerful I work with my own anointing partner mm -hmm. I work with my own anointing and I I, 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 I accustom to the, I, I, to the presence of the living God when I come yeah. here just a corporate anointing it's just yeah. that a God, I want us to be together so that we would um, edify, to exhort, uh, and to bring comfort to each other. So somebody going through something, can't leave them alone. They have like to separate people and, and they want to attack them. So when we mm -hmm. assemble now, and one man week, then everybody come and help in him. Yeah, true. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't come and tell me about um about the about a big church and and, and, and this congregation that that, that is, is is foolishness people thinking about. The more people, is the greater the anointing. Yeah. It's the, the cleaner the heart, and the and the more submissive and be blessed to the the the, 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 the and, and obedient to God. That is the greater the anointing. Not even and, and be among the people. I, I can have a thousand people and all of them and, and disobedient to the word of God. They are no anointing. They they, they, mm -hmm. they create a set of hype to make it feel like the anointing. Yeah. Because when you see your heart is 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 is, is in the right place and, and when you submit to the lordship of Jesus Christ and you're obedient to the word of God, that is when the anointing does be strong. Not when one, um, 10 people or 50 people are, um, are present. Mm -hmm. And nobody can fool me with that foolish religious um, thing. Yeah. Right? Because I know. And you know how I know? Because I spend time with Jesus Christ. I spend time with the Lord. I speak to him. He speaks to me. I read his word. He speaks to me through his word too. Right? And when you read his word, you will realize that there's not 10,000 people. The reason why we, we need 10,000 people is so that you will, make, uh, you will make disciples of all men. More disciples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and then some people saying, "Oh, he I had a I had a message already. He preached that already, you know. I hear that he must preach it again because the church is no, supposed listen. to have new Christians coming in. It's mm -hmm. supposed to have babes coming in, right? And if babes come in, they never hear the message of salvation, or, or, or they might hear that message. So you just be quiet and listen. You might get a piece of revelation, but don't yeah. say he preached that already, mm -hmm. or, or he preaching it. And and and, and that kind of and that kind of talk is is for people who are lazy in church. And they have not been ministering to other people, making disciples of all men, which is the mandate that Jesus Christ gave to us before he left. Make disciples of all men, go into all the world and preach the gospel, yeah. baptizing the name of the mm -hmm. Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Right? I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the power <clears throat> of God unto salvation. <clears throat> you understand the point I'm making? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, people worried. <clears throat> 
people worrying and taking on things. When people worrying, it means they are not faith in God. When they stress out and they're taking on things, oh, where the ministry going? Oh, God, um, look at what happened. The ministry go mash up. And this happened, and nobody, people leaving, they let them go. God must be cleaning yeah. up the ministry to make room sure. for, for, for people to come. Mm-hmm. You don't hold nobody foot back in the ministry if they want to go. Let them yeah. go. God create a free entities, free people. Right? We are all free to decide. And that's why he gave us um, uh, um, free, free will and uh, the, uh, the ability to choose. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, I choose to serve the Lord. Right? God, God gave us a choice. He, he, he don't have dominate people and have, have people in slavery or bondage. I voluntarily <laughs> surrender my will to God's will. He didn't yeah. he, 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 ring my hand. I voluntarily, so long I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I volunteer, volunteer to be a bond servant of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nobody bring my hand. And for them, I don't care. If, if, if somebody, um, 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 I don't think I am saved, I backslide. I know who I am. Right? I've been born again and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I submit my life to Jesus Christ. I know who yeah. my Lord is. I know the voice <laughs> of the Lord. My sheep know my name. I'm, I, I'm, I'm my voice. Right? They are sheep of another fold. Who I know his voice? But this sheep know his voice. Yeah. Right? But I know sheep. I'm a bond servant of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 19 and, um, and verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. You could do where you want any heart plan where you want. The counsel of the Lord is what, is going, is, is, is what shall stand. You can't go outside and, and, and worry about and what people are saying and... and, and Oh, the ministry, they said, no, I took on about Scarlet Shredder because we ain't had nobody to, back, to harass me, except for Alex and Jesslyn. I'm speaking mm-hmm. about what I'm seeing, how yeah. people spreading bad news. I, I, something happened to a brother in the church or something going on in the ministry, everybody spreading it like wildfire. How that could happen? Mm-hmm. To be free of worry, you must learn to be contented with what you have. Many people True. are not contented. True. They're contented with what I, no. And that's where the worries come in. When you're contented, you know your faith remain constant and, 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 and you don't have to woke up faith mm-hmm. and to get what you want. When you are contented, your faith remains constant. In a level, you, you fit a dip. So if I want to buy a car, you woke up yourself. Or, 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 or you have to go and do this. You know? Or you want to buy something or you need something. You know, woke up yourself and you, know? you just say, Lord, you're going on, you know. <clears throat> I need X, Y, and Z. And this is when you pray and you say, okay. And you leave that right there, you done with that. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> now, let me tell you something about worry. Worry must be resisted the way you resist the devil. Resist the, the devil and he will free from you. Let me tell you something. I was, I, I, at times in the past, it hasn't happened for a long time. At times in the past, I used to sit down and just worry about things. And when I was younger, I worried about how my life will turn out. You know, people always worry about as they get older, if you'll be able to sustain your income where you want to. I, I just think about it, but I didn't still worry yeah, about yeah. it. I yeah. thought about it. <clears throat> yeah. And when I, that, that come now, <clears throat> or worries come, I have found solace in that song I always sing, the song that's been for Alex, a dedication, the song. In uh, Christ I Alone. In, in Christ Alone, especially the last verse. The last verse and chorus where I, I know I, I, I did a background study on the song. And I know it was written in the, the heart in the 1500s in the heart of the, the, the Black Plague and, mm-hmm. and thing. And uh, Martin and Luther and his wife and children were taking care of people. Just like now with COVID, everybody are running and hiding and isolating. Martin Luther and, he, and them went out and was taking care of people over, over the plague, although they, 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 they didn't know what was going on. And he wrote that song because in, in the middle of that now, uh, and you know, he, he wrote this song in Christ alone. And the last verse says, no fear, no fear in life, right? No, I'm no guilt in life and no fear in death. Jesus commands my destiny. When you, yeah. when you, when you, when you, you sing that boy, mm-hmm. no, fear, no, no guilt in life. No fear in death. Jesus commands my destiny in the middle of a pandemic. That man write that. No guilt. He ain't guilty in, in his life. And he ain't afraid of it. Because Jesus commands his destiny. 
yeah. right? Yeah. And and, and then yeah. he, 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 he he go on to say, no, no power of hell, no no um scheme of man could ever pluck him from his hand, right? But the other one, the other lines now, I'm going on, on to that. Martin Luther went on to say, right, in that same song, he say, <coughs> till he, till Jesus return, or call me home, <coughs> here in the, in, the, in, the, in the power of Christ, I stand. That, and that song, we, we have to, we, if you listen to it and, 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 and you really understand what Martin and Luther were saying, and when he, he, he said you have to write it, you wouldn't worry. You wouldn't That's be true. guilty in this life. All who are stressed and guilty and have, you know, oh, I, I have guilt in me and I have this and I have that. You realize that there's no guilt in life. And those who are afraid of, the, of that, there's no fear in that because Jesus commands your destiny. You have no reason to worry. So you have to resist the devil and you flee from you. Oppose the devil. And you have to oppose worry. Oppose. Or resist that means to oppose. Oppose worry. And it, you flee from here. Right? Remember, it have three arms <laughs> of spiritual warfare. Worrying is a form of spiritual warfare, Sarah. Right. It's a fear of spiritual, um, of spiritual warfare. And I will worry. And there are people that talk about stressed out and, and they talk about depression and things, right? It had three hours, three hours. And always keep this. I want to close with this today. And, and to let pe and people remember the three hours of spiritual warfare. Refuse and resist. Refuse to worry. Say, I ain't taking that now. I ain't taking that. I refuse to worry. Good? Mm -hmm. And resist the worries. Good? You refuse and you resist. And you know where's the third one? Mm -hmm. You replace the worry with worship. Yeah, true. I don't talk about Martin Luther. Mm -hmm. I replace the worry with worship to yeah. God. Singing that song was worship. And people feel a worship is singing a worship song. No, the song have to be a, 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 a worship from your heart to God with that song. And then you will feel your, the worry starting to lift. Your stress starting to go. All your fears <laughs> and gone. Fear that's caused our, our worries too. A lot of yeah. things that's caused worry, especially fear. But you resist. The devil, he will flee from you. Resist the worry, right? You refuse to worry, and then you replace the worry. You replace worry and worship. Yeah. Resist or refuse. Resist and replace. Mm -hmm. yeah, and good. that's three hours. The three hours for so spiritual warfare for worry. Yeah. Never ever worry, right? So, all those who worrying about um, tomorrow and where your next meal coming from where your next dollar come no, no study that god will supply all your needs and he has been doing it and he will continue to do it right yeah. all those who worried about about you know church and the ministry how people leaving don't worry about that god just making room for a fresh batch of people because people are supposed to sit down in church for 30 years or well, i've been sitting on the same bench for 35 years yeah it's time to go out and make disciples of all men and give that seat to a young Christian who come in to replace you. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't recognize that. Mm -hmm. and because, and as I was going to talk about <clears throat> I'm worshiping, um, I'm narcissism in the church. Yeah, control. Right? What, 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 I'll tell you something about a narcissist, a narcissism, eh? <coughs> or a narcissist, or narcissist, if you want to call it that. Narcissus or narcissus comes from a Greek god called Narcissus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a Greek word from a guy. His name is Narcissus. Now, Narcissus fell in love with himself, right? Somebody parked him. It have, it, it have two different um, uh, two legends, right? But I won't go into the legends. But in a, in a, in a thing, uh, he, he looked at himself in a, um, somebody park us in him, and in, in, in one of the legends, and he, he, he looked he, he look in a pool of clear water, and he saw uh, uh, um, the image of himself, and he fell in love with himself. So if you study the word narcissism or a narcissist, he loved the self. Yeah. He fell in love with the self. Selfish. Right? So narcissus fell in love with himself. And it, 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 it's a lot of things. And what happened now? And people are self-righteous, and, and you know, they, they, and they love themselves more than other people. They, they, they're, they're caring. Excuse me, they have no empathy, and, and all these kind of things. And that is what 
has crept into the church with, with a lot of church and leaders and pastors mm -hmm. because they control them. And, and in order, if they like themselves now they, and they start to control, nobody can make decisions of their own, that they have yeah. them tight. And you know, it had a ministry up in Parliament. The fella have all the, have some people I know have tight. They can't come out. He, he, he had them locked down. They can't hear from, you know, the word of God from another person. Yeah. You only have to hear it from him. All that is narcissism in the church. And 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 and, and narcissistic church leaders. So I was going to talk about that, but I said I'm not going to talk about that. But that is something that is happening. It is happening, right? It has happened before. We look, look at Jim Jones. He was a narcissist. Uh, I, I'm leader. Nobody listens. He take all the people and carry them, Guyana. And when when, when he was losing control over them, he kill himself and kill them. Mm -hmm. Right? And how many how, how many other uh, other preachers and ministers? So don't worry about. <clears throat> about the and these preachers, God will deal with it. And 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 if you look at um second Timothy, I was you know the, the, the verse I was going to talk about start off with in these last days, in this prior last time, men must be what lovers of themselves. Lovers of themselves. So you're looking on the on the on, on Facebook and you're looking on social media, TikTok or whatever it is, all them things. I, I not on TikTok, I just think. And, and um and Instagram and thing which I'm not on to as well too. But and what happened now? And you look at them now and and, and, and you're seeing where people every day people posting thing about narcissists. This a narcissist yeah, that, true. That word around now. Yeah, true. It's a word people posting now. But the Bible spoke about that two thousand years ago that in the last days there'll be prayer in, in these last days and perilous times, men will be lovers of themselves. If only want to see the whole story, read Second Timothy. I think it's chapter yeah. six. Of or 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 or, 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 or or chapter three, whatever it is. But the point is, that is what you are seeing now, and and going around and, pr and people are promoting and saying men are love themselves and they control you. That is written in Second Timothy when Paul warned Timothy and he warned mm -hmm. about the church in these last days. Yeah. So so we, we are definitely in the last days. It may not be tomorrow or next week or next year, but we know we live in in a time where we are seeing the signs, mm -hmm. as opposed to the. And, and um, I make a post today. I'm not looking for no sign again. I'm listening for the trumpet now. Yeah, true. I ain't looking for no sign. I, I, I listen for the trumpet. So Tyrone say, so if Trini's here, um, Silva and they go start a wine low. <laughs> Tyrone knows that now. He says, suppose they hear Silva and they go wine low. If they hear no trumpet and hear Silva, I say if they hear Silva. It means is and, 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 and they miss the trumpet and it's Juve morning, and they will oh, take Lord. part in the bacchanal with all them um, blue devils, <clears throat> Peregrinad. Um, jab, jab, jambalasi, all them kind of thing, and Juve start. So every time you miss the trumpet, um, Juve morning start, the bacchanal start. Mm -hmm. Look out for the bacchanal next. You know where's the bacchanal? Tribulation. Tribulation. In the, in the yeah. So. Great tribulation. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so that is it. Never ever worry. Don't worry. Don't take on nobody. Don't stress yourself out with anybody. Don't take them on. Don't study. How your church going, how your ministry going. You just keep finding yourself in church on Sunday morning. If it's 10 people or 20 people, you find yourself there. Don't forsake the assembly of yourself. Yeah, and true. look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Do look to man yeah. for deliverance. Man yeah. can deliver you. Do look unto um, um, <clears throat> um, people who, uh, you, you, you know, the fivefold ministry. The fivefold ministry was given. To, 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 to edify and to, uh, and to exhort you, to build you up, right? To, to, to edify, to exhort, and to, and to bring comfort. Jesus yeah. is the man who saved you, not the ministry, not the fivefold ministry, or any other minister, or any pastor, or, or prophet, or, or, or evangelist. <laughs> All of them under the, the authority of Jesus Christ. That is the man you had to listen to. Yeah. Right? If the devil could fall and he was in the presence of God, who is man? <clears throat> So stop spreading a set of rumors all over the place and call a prayer and fast and get on all your knees because it's the body of Christ on that top. Yeah, true. Again, host, go ahead. Yeah, no, I agree with what you're saying. And the thing about it is he can't remove our obstacles. He can't remove our he cannot remove our tribulations. Right. And the thing about it is in this season, you just have to continue being obedient. For those churches who have nobody, who just have two people, ten people, five people, whatever it may be, all you are called to do in this season is to be obedient. True. Right? Yeah. You just have to be obedient. The Lord 
is in control. He never lost control, right? We as Calotero Ministries, me myself, to have to be have to be reminded myself in this season, just be obedient. And it's the same thing I tell myself to every Wednesday, every Sunday. All I have to do, as much as sometimes I don't want to show up, right? You have you show up and let God um, run His ministry. Sure. And I tell you, Lord, here what this is your ministry, mm-hmm. right? You chose Daddy and myself. This is your ministry. This has nothing to do with me. I just have to be obedient in this season. We have to just be obedient in this season and show up. Yeah. And allow him to do what he needs to do. And let me tell you, and that thought pattern has made me stop frustrating myself. I'm never going to start to frustrate myself about ministry work. Yeah, because no, it's, not, it it's not your responsibility. Yeah, it's not my yes. ministry. So, 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 Sarah, look at something. You that servant, you know. Yes. A bond servant, right? So, he's a bond servant. Mm-hmm. You work in for a company, right? Unlike me, I, I, mm-hmm. I work for myself. I don't have to listen to nobody about <clears> God. <throat> or nobody had to give me. Well, I, I just sold a retiree. I, I retire, right? The only person I started to listen to right through is their mm-hmm. mother. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I only had one boss. Mm-hmm. And, and, and your mother used to rough my okay. panting. When I go, but the, the thing is, mm-hmm. you working for a company, you have middle a management, upper management, right? The, the responsibility of running the company is not yours. You are there as an employee. You have to yeah. do what is your job. True. You have to do your job. You don't have mm-hmm. to uh, worry about the finances of the company. Um, you, uh, you, um, you have to worry about investments. You, um, you have, have to worry about uh, advertising. You uh, you don't have to worry about other employees like like um um um, um you, you know the um, personnel and the personnel department. Your responsibility yeah. is mm-hmm. your responsibility as an employee. Mm-hmm. Not so. Mm-hmm. You have nothing to do with anything else. You just go there and do your work. The yeah. same way, the church is. Jesus Christ is the head of the church, and we are we 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 are born servants of Jesus Christ. So what goes on in His church? It's not my responsibility to say I have to run and study where the people are coming from. Or I have to go and um, advertise the church. Or I have to do this or do that. All I have to do is what God called me to do. Exactly. I don't have to do what he exactly. called you to do. Or, yeah. or, or, what he, or, 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 or I don't I, I have to watch what the pastor doing. Or what the mm-hmm. deacon doing. Or what the usher doing. Or what the yeah. musicians doing. Or, or if they're bringing in a preacher and the preacher is, is um and the, and, and, and the preacher is uh, um is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, um and belong to another religion or another race, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. we have to do, just like in our daily jobs, is when we get there, do what we are called to do or what we are employed. Because I'll tell you something, works there means whatever you are employed in. Eh? When the Bible speaks right. of works in the New Testament. It means whatever you are employed in. Eh? Right. I, I work the works of the Lord. I am employed in the works of in the in, I'm in the employment of the Lord. Mm. Right? So, and that's what works there mean the employment or, 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 or the employee of. Good? So we are employed, and that's why I could say I, I'm not an employee, I'm a bond servant. Yeah. I, I'm one of the old time ones. I'm not a servant, I'm a bond servant like Paul. Yeah. So what happened, you know, that Jesus said, Go here. I have to go because he is my Lord and Master. The word Lord here means supreme authority or su- supreme ruler. So what happened if Jesus said go? Go. Yeah. No. Uh, and, and, and forget about what going on in church. No, and, and, and I'll show you something. You see that? And you see that? And that photo of the Eastern Gate behind me? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when the Muslims and them had Jerusalem, the Gentiles, I say Muslim, without all kind of people. When the Gentiles had I was in control of Jerusalem. This gate here, this eastern gate, is where they say Jesus will come through on his return, right? Yeah. How many prophecies Isaiah and MC coming through this gate? Now, you know what they do? They bury a set of people. In front of this gate is a cemetery. You understand the point I'm making? Yeah. If you look at the eastern wall, if you look behind me, well, well, you can't see it. It's a cemetery. The, the block of the eastern gate and it's a cemetery and Jesus is supposed to come through the eastern gate into, uh, into, into um, Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Right? 
Mais si les gens tapent, c'est l'Old Jerusalem. Mais on dit, on va parler de la New Jerusalem. Right. God is not the God of death or the dead. God is the God of the living. And that's what the Bible says. You think mm -hmm. God is worrying about the, have a cemetery? God looks like he's worrying that they put a cemetery in front of the Eastern Gate. And how Jesus is coming back? No. Good. <coughs> that's how we bosses operate. And that's how my bosses operate. He don't look worried. He ain't studying nothing because he know the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So the same way I'm saying, never ever worry. You don't worry. You don't take on things. Everything that just work out for you. True. Right? Just don't True. overextend yourself into areas that is not necessary or not mm -hmm. essential because God ain't covering you there. Mm -hmm. And I just go from the Bible where God covering your needs. He covering your essentials, but he's not covering your excesses. Yeah. And when you go into excess, that is where worries come in and stress. Because you, 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 you overextend yourself and you go into excesses more than essential. <clears throat> yeah. But I will show you something too. If God supply an essential, right? Mm -hmm. I only learn this when I start collecting a national insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I know my mother used to do it too. I learned from I, I went to like an old age pension. Mm -hmm. If God, if the, the government is paying me three thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, want, I talk about NIS three thousand yeah. dollars to a retired person for the month, right? Mm -hmm. And your income was infinite. Oh, I, I said infinite or infinite because let's just say I have a business I run and I I, I could I could spend. $10,000 a month on myself. Or yeah. whatever it is, if I want to go anyway. So I have no budget, right? So they gave me $3,000 every month. What I have to do now, that is my essential, right? And that is mm -hmm. my need. I like my need where God supplying me there. Now, if I spend $1,500 <clears throat> and I don't overextend myself, you, you know, I say $1,500. Yes. Yeah. At the end of the year, right? At the end of the year, I save fifteen. I I, I save fifteen hundred dollars twelve times. Yeah. And I have that in a saving. I see my mother said that. I said she got like a pension and she have thousand dollars in bank. Where she get that money from? Because mm -hmm. she learned to live on a budget, which we never do. I never live on a budget. Our business all the time. So say, I since I mommy on a budget, but now I still let me live on that because I plan on it. I say the next thing you know, I reach seventy, eighty, and I can't work uh, or, or do anything. Additionally, what will happen now? I deliver mm -hmm. the three thousand dollars and has given me. Yeah. Or, or wait until I reach sixty-five now and I collect a three-five from the and uh, from the oldish pension people. If I rip them off now, if I rob them like some people, yeah. so I collect an extra three thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the, and the point I'm trying to make is, if God supply all your needs and all the essentials, you can save if mm -hmm. you if, if you balance and and you manage it properly. True. And, I'm seeing that, and you know, I'm telling you that. Yeah. So it's don't more worry. than enough. Yeah. It's when you're, it's it's, it's if I come now and I already own a car, I pay off for my car, I have a good car. I pay off for my car now and I say, I want a new car. So I had to pay the $1,500 I would be saving. I just, I, I call it a figure, in yeah. installment for yeah. a car. So I, so I worry that's so good. How come I say, send no money in my account this month, boy? Well, I'm going to abuse up all them people in the bank. Well, I'm going to buy an NS office. That yeah. is where the worry is coming. But if you ain't have no car to pay for and you, and you, and you, come, and you come out from in the essentials, you will always have more than enough. True. And I'm and I, I I'm budgeting. Yeah, because Jesus talked about money plenty of time in the Bible, but you just didn't know. Yeah. When Paul was talking about, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me, right? Mm -hmm. We feel he was talking about how to how to manage his resources. Because before he said that, I hear Paul was saying, I learned to um I, 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 I abound in much abound and I learned to suffer lack. Mm -hmm. And in whatever position I am in, I, I am contented. Paul was talking about, about the same thing we're speaking about here, mm -hmm. finances and balancing your, your resources, yeah. right? And then yeah. he said, I can do all things through Christ. Which strengthened me through the anointing. Mm -hmm. I could is, is budget he talking about how to balance himself, how to make do with what he had. But you see, we don't read that. 
I can do all things through Christ with strength. Let me not go and buy. I, I, I can buy an expensive car. Go buy a big house. Go, uh, you know, <laughs> people don't understand the Bible. Apart from, you know, some people understand from a selfish, um, a discontented perspective. Yeah. And not really what the Bible says, uh, speaking about. So, <clears throat> that is that. Um, somebody go say like, like um, them backslide, how they have the sp Spider-Man in the back there, boy. What kind of ministry is that? <laughs> when they look at that ministry, they say, she has Spider-Man and I had the Eastern Gate behind me. I, 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 I'm, Jer I'm Jerusalem. That is the freedom you have in Christ. Exactly. Right? Yeah. As if we, I, I should have up a cross. Eh? I should have up a cross. I should I should have had up a cross or something. I not these last a cathedral. Days, Sarah, these last days a religion is not going to save anybody, you know. Exactly. Religion, it's Jesus exactly. Christ and him crucified. You know? Yeah. Right? Look, like I was wearing uh, last week when I was preaching on my channel chain of right. Somebody supposed I said to you change a, I said you change the yeah. fix. They didn't send it back. The jeweler didn't send meant, it back. And if the jeweler is listening, I know sometimes he passed through here on Facebook. Send Maggie Man chain for me, please. I, I get them blame fit. I, make sure I get them blame fit. I make sure it's polished. <laughs> I said, I'll show you something. I mm. had a cross, right? Years ago. I didn't know the, 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 the symbol of, of the cross. It was one of those wrong cross. It, it, it had wrong, so I'd have a cross. I have a piece coming down like that, right? Mm -hmm. They say that um, um, Google and all of them say that the oldest cross. So I was doing some Egyptian studies with the pyramids, right? And, and yeah. I, I, I said in the pyramids and thing and, um, and, 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 and the purpose, although half of them say, um, and they say the pyramids is, is a burial tomb, but half of them had nobody buried inside it. So anyhow, there's a, there's a lot of different confusion going on. But then yeah. all the hieroglyphics, all the writings, you saw that cross. And the, and the Egyptian um, pyramids and in tombs and all about it. I saw that cross. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, I'm like thinking, I, 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 I know the, the, the thing, but I'm saying, let me give some, and Jesus Christ, I didn't burn yet. So that cross had to be, it's not a cross, it's a key. Right. But, but, but and there's a symbol they use in the Egyptian, Egyptian hilo, hilo, in, 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 the, in, the, in the inscription on the tomb, tomb now, just as you would on my thing. Mm -hmm. Hierog hieroglyphics. So what happened now, they read the hieroglyphs and they say, okay, this is what they were saying and that is what they were saying and wherever it is. But they never okay. gave us the interpretation of that. But then, <clears throat> after studying and, 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 and thing, it, look, it looks like a key. Oh, and that use for that. So it's not a cross. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I, I take it off. I, I, I preach with it. I had it around mm -hmm. my from a chain burst. I preach with it. And I had it around my neck. I, 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 if they go back, they'll see where I preach with it and speak with it. But I'll tell you something. I took it. That's week off. before. Yeah. I mm -hmm. took it off. You know, I took it off. Because as I was studying the, the this thing with the, the pyramids and Jesus and, and, and all this kind of thing. When I take because I was studying the as I still studied the Nephilims and them, eh? them mm -hmm. giants they had and um thing. And to speak in it. So what happened now? I take off the cross from the chin and I, and I, and I, I, I throw it in the garbage. Uh-huh. Because it was on those things. So <clears> I choose to let nobody tell me to take it out or to mm -hmm. take off the cross. The, the Holy yeah. Spirit convict me that Glenn, hey, you know, he didn't tell me all the time. Yeah. He brought me to that and he showed me and he said, well, Glenn, you know, that, that I am. You, uh, you decide. I choose to take it off because I was convicted about it. But he, he, yeah. and nobody had to tell me that. So if you want to spy a Spider-Man on the back of your um, thing as your backdrop, nobody can tell you nothing about Spider-Man. But if it convict you yeah. and your feeling then... was wrong, to the pure, all things are pure. To those who are defiled, all things defiled. So if you if you are not convicted, then um, I don't see any reason why you can't have it. Yeah. So we I find it looking. Today. Hmm? You put it up. I find it looking. I put that because Alex is six years old. There's Alex a bedroom, a fixable, and, and Alex will share the bedroom. And, and I, was, I had one for Jessalyn, but that one looked evil. It's a black thing with that kind of funny ass. I nah. Next time I wake up and feel there's a demon on the wall. No, no, no. I'm paying up. Mm -hmm. That one for Jessalyn. So I have, a, I have a nice one. But that's, um, I put it up because it's a trial and Spider-Man is a thing. When yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Super, well, you know, if, if he stop now and we, and we get women with, with um, this new thing they have now. Well, uh, uh, what they have, uh, thing with the different color thing. Oh, uh -huh, PJ mask. 
Right, we have a PJ Mask one. Um, you can always change it out. Whoever it is, the one time, then what will eventually happen? And, 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 and if you look on the, on, the, on the other side, taking out all them clongs from in there, the only mm-hmm. clong in that room up on the, the thing. And I uh-huh. put them book. books. Books. I put books on the shelves up there, books, Bibles, and things. So the, when we in there, I would say, well, pick up a book and oh, read. As they say, that it have three boxes of Bibles, or something come from Jogiro, or they could go through it and see what they want. I believe it's Bibles or something they pack up and bring here. I don't know. So the three boxes right there downstairs behind the salon, you will see it. I see one box, but it looks like it's, um, um, it gets wet. So they said, well, thing about it, it's rubbish. Well, if again, <laughs> we have to try it away, but um, you'll go through it and see it's too heavy. I can't even lift it up to take it down. There's one box. Three boxes. Right, three heavy boxes. Much. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, never ever worry was the discussion today. And you know, you spoke about your that chain, right? That you used it, that it was using two weeks ago. And it reminded me of what happened with your gold chain and mm-hmm. your pendant. You remember that Sunday you went to cricket and the whole team looking for the pendant. Mm-hmm. And it's like you basically let go easily yeah. of the pendant, you know, but in hope that you know something deep in your heart, you know that coming back to you. Mm-hmm. And even if it don't come back, you're still contented because. Your life don't depend on it. Yeah. Right? I like that as well, too. Sometimes, you know, you lose something. You lose a pair of earrings. You lose a ring. You lose whatever it is. Whatever it may be. And, you know, in that <coughs> moment, I just tell myself, or I just actually tell you, Lord, Lord, if you want that come back to me, you will send it back to me. And I leave it right there and you go on. You don't sulk over it. You don't worry over mm-hmm. it. And, you know, when you let go, that's the time when it's come back to you. True. That is the time it look, comes back to look, you. Look, all that is trusting the Lord and not worrying. Look, I'll show you something. I go in on, I go in on um, Central yesterday. I tell you, I, I have an idea. I go in, I go in and, and, and see if I get some um, wallpaper to put on, on the bedroom or like or, 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 or thing. You mm-hmm. know what I go in on? But I say, look, I just get the, the, the um, I, I just say, look, I let my head out, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I drive along the road and traffic going through here as all this traffic had to go so and turn back and just so I seen you know God working this thing out yes I I, I, I had to reach there and I will reach there in God's timing his perfect timing and I will reach there in his perfect timing I will yeah, he yeah. Working out. you believe when <laughs> I pull up there and I take that that first arm um, paper with the superhero and I walk in or the lady give my price right Mm-hmm. But when I go by the cash now and I go into pay, she say, you know, I go get two for the price I want. You, mm-hmm. you see anything else you want? Mm-hmm. I say, yeah. I go, I go back and I want to see other things now. Yeah. But I say, look, you know what? Um, I um, I, I think so. If I reach you earlier, I would have to pay the full price for that. But I'm telling them, I probably based on the time I reach there. Yeah. The perfect time when I pay, you no, know, they say, look. Take two for the same price for, for the price for the price I want. Go back and see wherever you want there. Yes, and take it. I'm sure. And just as I pay, you know, she tell me the price before. So right. sometimes now we would worry and so who would rather go there before tra- sometimes in traffic and God working it out. You will reach in time. He working it out. If you don't worry, never ever worry. Mm-hmm. So that it's is my true. Yeah. Sometimes he might delay because you're getting a park right in front of the place. Yeah. You're getting a park right in front of the place so you don't have to walk through the rain these days, you know, wherever it may be. Yeah. You know, his timing is always on time. You know, we probably just can't and, reason. And, and, and look how easy that room paint out. True. You yeah, find it easy. I do so I come, I coast in, I think, and I reach you know whatever time and I just work in and thing and everything. I, I, I watch that. I know God in that. Yeah. I, I can not believe tell. you I couldn't believe you painted on the first day so much. Yeah. I, so much work. Mm-hmm. Well, if I had the ladder, I'd have finished it the first day. Yeah. But the thing about it is, as I say, leave everything up to God. You just relax yourself. Never ever worry and don't take it on. Yeah, true. So we will close with that. Yeah, yeah. All but right. I, I, so, I don't watch um, I got bruise. I got bruise and I, I, my hand burning. I said, but who I get this bruise, boy? Who I get this? A white man. Yeah, I got a white man. 
All right. So you have continue to have a blessed night. I only black outside. My white inside. Continue to have a blessed night and always remember, never ever worry because Jesus said as well too, right? We shall have tribulation, but just know, be of good cheer because he has overcome the world, right? And just know that you will have peace in him. So stay in him, right? Stay in him. Continue to read the word of God um, and and meditate on it, tune into your worship, right? Tune into your worship, and that gets your spirit in tune with the Lord, right? It calms you, right? It keeps you in that um, peaceful, quiet place. So let me tell you something. When you get into worship, when you're listening to worship music, what do you think they're singing? Is the scripture they're singing? Is the scripture the word of God that they take out? That they're singing back to God. They're just putting it in their own words. You understand? But it's worship. It's, it's his word. They're singing back to him. Right? So if it is, you know, you read your Bible and get into worship and see for yourself that peace that you will experience. Right? So I can't sell you something or tell you something that I did not experience. Right? It's what I experienced. So I'm sharing it with you as well too. So... Remember the three hours. Yeah. The three hours then battle. What it is? Refuse. Refuse to worry. Resist. Resist. Uh -huh. And um, something to worship here, just now. And, and replace worry with worship. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh. Replace it with worship. Right, but, but I'll tell you something. Um, you don't say replace worried worship. Refuse, right? Resist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and replace. So yes. if, if right, so if if if, if it's spiritual war and warfare, refuse, resist, and replace. Yes. So let's just say you're replacing, or you can say replace with worship, but you can replace it with something else. Yeah. But but yeah. worship and replace with worship. Yes. So, you know something? Um, you all continue to have a blessed night. You all will see us back again on Sunday. Please, God, for our Sunday morning service at 10 a.m. Please, God. And, um, yeah, let me tell you something with pastors, um, um, ministers, right, running a ministry. You could get frustrated about, oh, gosh, you know, you're thinking about the whole year ahead. You may be thinking about the whole month ahead. What am I going to preach on? You understand? But let me tell you something. God is so everlasting. There's no end to him. There's no end to revelation in his word. All you have to do, stop worrying. You don't worry about what you have to preach next Sunday, next Wednesday, next month, for Christmas, for all year's night. You don't worry about that. Right? You just continue to read the word of God. Continue to study the word of God. Continue to see God's face. And let me tell you something. He will. If it means at the 99th hour, he will come through. It is his ministry, right? As um, my dad here said, we are employees. We are just his employees. We are his bond servants, basically, right? He is running everything. It's his ministry. Just like a company, he running his company, which is his church, right? He is the one will give you the word, right? He is the one will give you the word. So don't frustrate yourself about how much people come into your church, how much money collecting, how much bills you have, you know, to run the ministry, whatever it is. Just leave it in God's hands and never, ever worry, right? So it, is, it will be a challenge because some people like to worry, worry, worry. And then what, what are doing to you? Besides frustrating yourself, what is it doing to you, right? So... Stop today and just let that process never ever worry. It it is hard because all of us it's natural to worry, but then limit yourself a little bit. Just say, you know what, Lord, I hand I commit this situation into your hands, right? I commit it into your hands because I realize there's nothing that I can do at this time. There's nothing in my strength that I could do, right? So we hope that this discussion was a blessing to you. And I'll just close with a word of prayer. And then I'll continue 
with the song that um when the broadcast had an interruption i was playing advice i'll continue with that song so heavenly father we just bless your name tonight to god again lord lord we say that we love you we thank you for your word we thank you for your revelation we thank you for hope and comfort in your word in your promises oh god never ever worry because we know god lord that um we shall face tribulations trials um we shall face challenges in this life but we know that in you in you we have a peace we have quietness oh god we have rest heavenly father and i pray for rest tonight over your church oh god lord i pray oh god lord for um you know that they would replace um worry with worship tonight oh god they will replace um worry with even reading your word oh god heavenly father and Lord God, they will replace him worry with prayers. Oh God, Heavenly Father, instead of worrying, they will just replace it with just a, a time of speaking with you, oh God, Lord. And Lord God, tonight, oh God, show yourself strong to those who are worrying, oh God. Let them realize that worrying, wasting their time, oh God, Lord, and they could be more productive in another area, oh God, Heavenly Father. Lord God, tonight, oh God, we know that it is a challenge not to worry, but your spirit will help us and aid us, oh God, Lord, when those times come, oh God, Lord, to depend upon you, oh God, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight, oh God, that you are more than enough to us who know that you are more than enough, that we are contented with you, oh God, Lord. And even when you bless us, oh God, we know those blessings come from your hands, oh God, Lord, and we ask, oh God, that in those times when you bless us, it's not for us alone, but it's for us to bless others, oh God, Lord. And we just thank you tonight for everything, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And you know, us listen to that song today, um, Jaira, You Are Enough. I forget the name of the people who sing it. I think it's, um, oh God, this man, church. You know, Jaira is the name of the song. And the song goes, Jaira, you are enough, right? Um, and he, the song goes on to say, in, um, I will be contented, right? I will be contented in every circumstance, in every situation, because Jaira is enough. enough. He is enough. And when we realize that he is enough, material things and the love for it fades away, Right? It does not match up to him being God in your life. Him being, um, you know, that grace coming from him. Just having him, his love, his presence, you know, that is more than enough. Sarah, you know, you say um, you wouldn't like material things or want material things, right? Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something. A lot of people who chase after wealth and money and uh -huh. riches and things when they were younger uh -huh. and keep running it. When they reach a certain age, realize, you know, I wasted my life working all them hours to get what? <clears throat> to pay what? It, it, it lose, it lose, you know, it, it, it loses novelty, it loses the, the value that you place on it. Yeah, so true. the value of material things, gold is something you get from any ground. You know? But as man place value on that, gold is really yeah, valuable. Yeah. Gold is, a, is, is, a, is, a, is a, just like old iron. Is that matter? But it's the value man place on it. I understand. You look at diamonds. A diamond is, a, is, 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 is and you have to mine diamonds, go down and, and dig it up. To, but it, it is of no significant value to people. You can't yeah. eat it. Some will say you could trade it. But it is the, 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 the value is what man plays in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I'm saying? Yeah, so, true. So, so you would say, and people would say, okay, accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and he wouldn't want material things. What happened when you see, the, the, you know, and you experience the goodness of God, then you will realize, then you would see the value. If, you buy, yeah. if you, you, you'll compare the value of salvation to gold and silver, and you realize, there's no comparison. Yeah. I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, it, it, but I don't blame people who chasing it. Yeah. 
But I pray that they will recognize that what they're chasing is not as valuable as salvation. Only yeah, Jesus. I don't blame people for that. Who want to be rich could be rich. Who want to chase? Uh, it's up to them. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not angry with them or best. I just choose not to. True. And it has, uh, you know, I, I get a, a, a label as being not somebody who is not, um, um, not, uh, is not aggressive, but, but not, what's the word that they say if you're not, Chasing wealth and you're lazy or you want something. I forget what it was. But mm -hmm. early in my life, I, I realized... You don't so, pursue it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I pursue things for my yeah. personal pleasure. And I'm an 80% man. As soon as I accomplish 80%, I bust it. I say, they, yeah. and they must be more alive than cricket. They must be more alive than working here and doing this. They must be more alive than singing Calypso or anything. They must be more alive. So after 80%, I accomplish and I excel up to 80%. I said, enough of that, yes. Because yeah, I realized sure. that the, 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 the essence of, of, of life is com the comfort in knowing that when you leave this life, because of the whole leg, you realize you have more years behind you than ahead of you. True. Right? So, so, yeah. so the, 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 the value that people place on material things, and I use the word carefully, the, the value people place on material things, they will realize that very soon it... Um, you know, as they get older, one day they realize that thing. Because I saw a cartoon today where a fellow are walking, he die and he going through a gate with um with two briefcases of money, money uh -huh. falling out. And when he look now, he see <coughs> pallets and 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 stacks of money packed up there. And the, and, the, and the um the Grim Reaper, the the, the angel of tell him, hey, hello, we don't allow baggage <laughs> when they come in. Right. So he had to drop the two suitcases. When he look, he see real money um there. You must say, yeah. you do a lot of baggage in here, but drop your, 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 your money out. said, you come in here just as... Yeah. yeah. So funny, you should hmm. see that. But as I say, yeah. um, the value of material things is what man places in it. Sometimes they True. exaggerate the value, sometimes they undervalue it. And, and, that's, and, and that's why I think um, knowing Jesus Christ and you realize that always it stands, you know? You build a big yeah. house, you hold out Saturday deteriorate after a while, you retire. So why do you want this big house, boy? Yeah, it was something smaller. <clears throat> look, at, look, at, look at that wall behind me in, Jer in, Jer in Jerusalem where the temple was the greatest thing. And people used to marvel at that temple. Yeah. Marvel at the temple with all the gold and everything. Where is it today? That material thing. But God's still here. True. You know? True. So... Let's go. Let's close up before we, we start like, interfering people's personal life. Which we, <laughs> we only understand so, people post their life now. Yeah. Let them live their life. It's like Marshall. Let me live my life. Or I come to live my life, whatever it is in the medical episode. Yeah. I'll come to live my life or something. I let them live their life now. Let me live yeah. for Jesus. And just get and just explain to them the difference and, and let them live their life. Yeah, true. So, so continue to have a blessed night. Stay strong. And um, we will play advice from the heart written. And recorded in the studio by our very own here, my dad, Anthony Glenn Dawson. So enjoy and take a listen. Have a blessed night. And you always see us back, please, God, on Sunday for our Sunday morning service at 10 a.m. Enjoy. Uh, uh, Sarah, do not forsake the assembling of yourself. Well, so uh, yeah, they know I don't have a choice. <laughs> so I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. But you know, we, we, we can invite people, anybody wish to come and attend. Um, 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 let us know, send us a message on Facebook. We'll say, okay, we'll make the accommodation, but we really still don't, don't um, have intentions of, of, of a very large congregation. But if you feel to come and join us on Sunday morning, and come and join us. And we'll have a yeah. nice service, a big service, however. Yeah. Okay, so be blessed. And if you wish I mean, to come, let us know. We'll see you on Sunday morning. Yes, okay. Good night okay, for now. Please, yeah. Okay. Bye. I sit down to write a gospel so Cause I hear it too much smart on the radio. Right from the start, I make up my mind. The past never singing about no drum and wine. I write a song just to win a crown, but to edify, build up, and to make you strong. Who don't want to hear? Well, then they go feel the 
adversary come to kill and to steal. I want my friends and them go to hell. When Basil come and start to ring up the bell, I hope you don't mind. I'm trying to give advice. The only way to make it is to follow Christ. He came down here to show all of us the way, so we wouldn't have no problems on judgment. In these days with knowledge on the increase We got to guard against the mark of the beast The earth is full of violence and full of hate We must be patient and keep the faith Let not your heart be troubled, you must be bold Though the love of many people waxing in coal Man look up and don't you submit to fear It's just your redemption that's drawing near And I want my friends and them go to hell when Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day Said in his heart that there is no God. The beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. Look how much a quick hurricane and flood. It's time to repent and get under the blood. I'm telling you, my friends, look all your air blind. The days we live in, in is the end of time. You can try to run, but you cannot hide. Very soon the groom coming for the bride. And I want my friends and them go to hell. When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment If things so bad, you feel there's no hope You want to give up because you just can't cope No matter how you try, it's failure and distress Do you sacrifice and you try your best I want you to remember the man from the cross He came down here so far, now he is the boss Don't forget we bring me last for one night And the darkest hour comes right before the light Lord, I want my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of them the way So they wouldn't have no problems on judgment day I am the pastor And I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you will condemn. For that is the inheritance of the children of God. Be strong.